I am going to test my camera, the 80D, on some profiles that I've purchased from EOS HD. Big fan of Andrew's work with the Sony profiles, and I've done some tests with this Canon profile kit before, but now I've got an 80D that does not have Canalog built into it, and Andrew has said that the profile that he built is based around the Canon 1DC's C-Log, which is great, because that's the camera that I own as my main expensive fancy camera. I'm gonna run through all the profiles with this uh, 80D that I'm shooting on right now. It's all from the perspective of a vlogger. So I'm just hand holding it. I've got ISO on auto, auto white balance. I just wanted to see a realistic example of what these profiles look like in the type of scenarios that I'm gonna be using them in with my uh, YouTube content. The run and gun, pick up the camera, turn it on and hit record type of scenario. And so I'm shooting on the Tamron 10 to 24 lens that just came out. I hope this video is helpful to you. I'm shooting on the faithful picture profile right now by Canon. Hopefully I'll either decide to stick with the Canon profile or go over to Andrews. So uh, let me know what you think. And uh, without further ado, here you go. All right, I'm testing the uh, EOS HD C log right now on the ADD vlogger style. It looks nice and flat, has great dynamic range. Definitely reminds me of the C log on my 1DC, which is great. All right, so now I'm shooting on the EOS HD Cinema 3 color. This one has a little bit more contrast and saturation. Not, not a huge fan of where the auto uh, levels are here. Skin tone looks okay. It's a little orangey. Um, but yeah, this would probably be a pretty good baked in profile. As far as I'm aware. It seems to be okay. Maybe a little bit too much saturation. This reminds me the most of uh, YDR. This is the EOS HD Cinema 4 profile. It's uh, not as flat as the C-Log profile, but it has um, some really good dynamic range. Colors look good. This one probably is the right one. All right, this is the EOS HD Chrome profile. Um, a very uh, stylized look. Again, would be a really nice um, way to shoot uh, if you're going for this kind of faded look. I don't know if I'm a fan of it. I think it's a little overused. Uh, it's definitely something I could do in post really quickly. And by it being baked in, I'm stuck with it. So, um, looks good though. Skin tone looks good. EOS HD Chrome on the 80D. This is the EOS HD Cinema 1. Very, very oversaturated. This is just straight out of the uh, custom profile that Andrew provides. Um, Obviously way too oversaturated, um, but would probably look cool with just like a landscape or something, so. EOS HD Cinema 1. Cinema 2, a little bit less saturation. Uh, still way too much for my taste. Definitely a fan of Cinema 3 and 4, more than 1 and 2. EOS HD Scarlet profile. Again, pretty heavy grade, similar to the Chrome. Um, looks cool. Definitely not something I will use. But again, very neat way to have a baked in color grade. This is the Vivid Skin Tone profile. Again, very cool grade. Way too punchy and uh, oversaturated. Uh, could be cool with stills, maybe. And uh, if I lowered my exposure, maybe it would be better. But uh, again, not going to be using this one. This is the uh, Mono Adams profile. Very crunchy, 
uh, black and white profile. I like this. Reminds me of um, Tri-X film from uh, Fuji, I believe. Um, looks good. Okay, so this is the EOS HD monochrome profile. Uh, the second monochrome profile provided. Um, the Adams one or whatever is uh, much crunchier. This one kind of has a faded film look to it. I really like this. This is cool for stills for sure. Um, I may keep this one on uh, specifically for stills. Um, definitely looks really nice. I think I like this one better than the other black and white profile. I hope you guys got to take away a little bit from my non-scientific test. I'm shooting on the Cinema 4 profile right now. It's the one that I like the most. It's probably the one that I'll be testing and using. I get good dynamic range and the color is manageable. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe to the channel. What's up, man? <laughs> I heard subscribe and I'm like, oh my god, it's filming. You're on my YouTube show. <laughs> subscribe, let me know what you think. Catch you next time. See ya.